let you niggas have your 15 But I'm running next, don't duck and run, I'm crushing the something's fuck on the nothing There's nothing new being said I don't know what I'm doing, but you might learn something or not Let's see where this goes I am the stone Ah, the boondocks Always liked the show, but never really got to appreciate the context the show offered as a young kid. I was very oblivious to the banter and the play on words. Shoot, <laughs> even down to the cultural references. The only reason I knew the name R. Kelly was for his infamous urination on a kid and how painfully guilty he was. I'm no professional reviewer or whatever you call whatever I'm doing. I know I deemed it a review and an analysis, that's only because I didn't know what else to call it. I don't really think it's truly a review and an analysis, but I'll leave it like this for now. Just so you know, the reason why I'm going over like these cartoons or whatever I'm doing a video on is because I needed practice with uh, voicing my opinions, and I think it's real important that I get this uh, these videos up and start following through instead of being lazy all day. So you're gonna have to suffer with my bad grammar and my mediocre pronunciation. Since that's over with, let's get started with some basic facts. It's a series by Aaron McGrudder. It's based, if not heavily influenced, by his comics under the same name. The comic strip ran from 1996 to 2006. The TV series was premiered on the Adult Swim blog on Cartoon Network in late 2005. I was about 11 when this black comedy sitcom came out, and uh, I think it has a similar comedy style to the Dave Chappelle show. One show reminds me of the other show. I think it's because both of them go into cultural lifestyles, social class viewpoints, and the racists themselves also provide much of the satire. The show starts three main protagonists, Riley, Huey, and Robert Freeman. The main protagonist, Huey, is a very smart 10 year old boy. Huey is a self described revolutionary left wing. People often describe him as cynical and misanthropic, which is a general hatred and distrust towards human. The main inspiration for Huey is from a political figure in history named Huey P. Newton. Both of them have things in common, like they're both founders of radical groups. Huey P. helped found the Black Panther Party, meanwhile Huey Freeman is a over an achiever and helped found over 23 different radical organizations, including Afro and Bro. I'm the founder of 23 different radical leftist organizations including the African Fighting Racism and Oppression, or AFRO, if you will, uh, the Black Revolutionary Organization, or BRO, and also the Black Revolutionary Underground Heroes. Yeah, bro. Huey is always the voice of reason in the world of Woodcrest Chicago, where the boondocks takes place. Watching each episode has always been a surreal type of experience for me. Due to the fact that the adults are idiots, and it seems like Huey is the only one with any sense. Next on the list is Riley Freeman, the brother of Huey Freeman. Surprisingly enough, both boys are voiced by one person, Regina King, which does an amazing job. You know, I mean, it's, it's Regina King. She's, you know, she's, she's astounding. Um, she does this amazing thing when she goes back and forth uh, between the voices and. You know, she's the only one who could possibly pull that off, and, and I think she just does a fantastic job of both characters. Okay, first of all, don't trust the new niggas was not a spirit. We could just do a little research and look it up. I don't know, pick up a book. Ooh, that movie sucks. I originally was only playing Riley, and here we are in our second season, and I'm Huey and Riley, and I am able to do it pretty well. Riley Freeman is Huey's exact opposite. He is his troublemaking younger brother. He embraces the gangster lifestyle and loves to use improper grammar and being hard-headed. Behind all this lies an artistic, clever little kid. The TV series shows his most potential in the episode where he's selling chocolate. That's right, chocolate. Just a little thought on Riley. I think he's the show's antagonist, the true antagonist. He's the yin to Huey's yang. I know the show's main antagonist may be Mr. Wunzler or some sort of thing that represents the government that goes against Huey's ideals, but I really like to believe that it's Riley, Huey's younger brother. Lastly, we have Robert Jebediah Freeman, who is voiced by John Witherspoon. 
and John has the ability to just say anything, and it's and it's hilarious. He's talking about parking the car, or scratching himself, or whatever. It's just always funny. He talks about scratching himself quite a bit. I talk about everybody. I'm sorry, but that's what I do. So I'm right in line with my character. You know, when I go home, I talk about white folks. I talk about black folks. I call talk about nappy-headed hoes. I know some nappy-headed hoes. So I'm a type of person who speaks his mind because I'm a comic. I'm supposed to be. I get away with it. Spoons is just brilliant. He's just somebody who... He's the person that I'm asked about the most on the streets when it comes to Boondock. I have an 11-year-old son. He knows every line, every scene. He want me to be granddad. I said, I'm not granddad. I am John Witherspoon. He said, no, you just like granddaddy. So he want to be Riley or Huey. See, I try to go somewhere and have a good time and look at this. Hold up, get your ass beat when I'm done watching this tape. Like when I say that people ask me about him on the streets, it's not because they know it's him. It's because who plays the granddad? You know, and as soon as I say it's John Witherspoon, they're like, oh yeah, that is him. That's messed up, granddad. Damn it, boy, tell me who stole my car. So it's just that slight little thing that he's doing that's, you know, a little bit older. Because, you know, John Witherspoon thinks he's 25. <laughs> John Witherspoon is a Mac. Don't tell him I told you that. What about some of that extra money? on this damn show. This is a hell of a show. Everybody loves this show. But my pockets don't. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't seen any of his previous works, I suggest you do. He's a pretty funny guy. And I think he's the perfect match to voice Robert. He is the legal guardian of Huey and Riley. In some episodes, it's mentioned that we don't even know his age and that he's suffering the early stages of dementia. Nobody knows exactly how old Robert Freeman is, not even Robert Freeman himself. But his age is estimated somewhere between 80 and 120 years old. I find it difficult to determine whether Robert is a pathological liar or suffering the early stages of dementia. He is quite the character. I like him. He's funny and I like him. To end this, I just want to say behind his constant frustration due to the misadventures of his grandsons, it does not mask the fact that he still cares about them. And uh, I guess that's it. And in summary, now that I've explained all three characters in just a short little video and I don't even know what to call it still, but if you haven't seen the Boondocks, just take a moment and watch it. Heck, I just barely got um, a chance to reconnect the service to my TV so I can, so I'm able to watch these uh, these little shows. And I might add, I'm kind of disappointed. Cartoon Network seems to be have really gone downhill. All they're showing is, I mean, I, I've noticed at night when uh, the Adult Swim block comes on, all they're showing. It's just King of the Hill, King of the Hill, Family Guy, Family Guy, King of the Hill, and uh, American Dad, I mean, and then a little mixed, a little, they throw in a little spice of whatever they got, but still, I mean, it's very sad. They used to have a lot more variety back in the day. I don't know if just me or if anyone else has noticed, but I miss the other Adult Swim, but I'm not going to complain. Let's just keep moving forward so we get to something great. And without a further ado, uh, I don't know when I'm going to make a next video or whatever. Hopefully by next week I'll have another one. I think it may be a little tribute to another channel I watch. Well, you'll, you'll find out. And uh, that's all for today. Uh, see you next time.